Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are playing the Sims 4 Mendoza Legacy Challenge. So today is going to be an awesome day because we are here with our grandchildren. Yes, I said it, grandchildren. And you know what probably whose grandchildren these are. It's Gavin and it's Gavin and, Me and Meadow's grandchildren. And the, the parents are dun -dun -dun -dun, Sebastian and Rebecca. So basically what happened was that... um. Yeah, Sebastian moved out and they live in this like big old house, which is crazy, which is kind of reasonable because what happened was they had twins, they got married, well they got married, had twins, and then Rebecca's pregnant with twins again. And you're wondering why, because <clears throat> apparently Sebastian wants more kids and Rebecca apparently wants more kids as well, so... That's a thing that's happening right today, and yeah, they're gonna be a family of four, or a family of, um, four, two, family of six, apparently I can't count, but yeah, that is the thing that's happening today, I'm kind of glad they are kind of working on their lives together, doing what they want to do in, as a life, so I played a lot off camera technically, just because I wanted to kind of ex explore the family and explore the Let's Play a little bit more often, because I haven't really been doing that a lot, and I wanted to just kind of play them a little bit more so gavin i need to have you go ahead and go upstairs and talk to ray ray mendoza because you don't know your own grandchild you only know robin technically which i don't know why you only know robin but you should know ray but ray's upstairs so go and talk to him but i also noticed that gavin has been really really working out a lot and so he has been working out every single day he's been going to the gym He's been playing basketball, jogging. He's been doing a lot of things off camera, trying to get fit and being a very healthy person. So I'm glad he's been doing that. And so Gavin, I want to show you, well, first I, let me just kind of control myself a little bit more because I get distracted and I talk way too fast and then it gets really utterly crazy, but welcome to my channel, but still. <laughs> so yeah, Sebastian had two kids named Ray and Robin married to Rebecca and they have two sets of two sets of twins on the way again so let's just say Sebastian is going to be really stressed out by the end of this let's play just to be honest here so the way I'm going to end this let's play is that I want him to basically I don't know I want either Chandler or, or Olivia to be the next heir of this like legacy challenge because the next season will happen in the next couple of parts so I'm not really sure when I'm going to end this let's play well end the season but it will happen soon, probably like the next two weeks or so. I will probably pre-record some videos. But on the other hand, I will wait. I will wait for you guys to vote. Who will be the next heir of this Legacy Challenge and and how will we portray it? But what I'm like really excited for is the screenies because I took so many screenshots in this Let's Play that I have probably over 200 screenshots already. So be on the prepared for that. Be prepared for that and you guys will enjoy it. But either way, yeah. So today I want to go ahead and have Chandler and Olivia go to this new house that I actually placed a new family in and I got off, off the gallery. And so they got two sets of children that I want them to kind of, like, I don't know, be friends with. And they're, really, they're a really nice family. They live in like a nice little sm a plot of land that looks really family home-like. And I feel like that if Olivia and, and Chandler make friends... They'll become more than friends, and then soon one of them will get married, and then soon they'll be boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know. It's going to be really cool, and so I'm excited for it. And on the other hand, I also worked on everyone's skills. I worked on metal skills. She got promoted. Gavin has a new job, and he works in the social media career. And right now, Meadow is basically flirting with Gavin like no other. It's like, seriously, same. But, Yeah. So she's at level 7, she's almost done with her career, which is so cool, which I'm really, 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 really happy about that. So I think in season 2, she'll end up having to complete her career anyway, and then she can retire. Because she doesn't work, she doesn't actually age up in, in the span of, she has 15 dates left until she ages up. So that's going to be a long while for us to basically play, so I think that I would say that's like 15 LP parts, but who knows what will happen in a span of a, a part of a Let's Play. So I'm not sure if the kids can actually walk down the stairs yet, but I probably will have to work on the kiddo skills off camera, but you pooped your pants, Robin. Why did you poop your pants? Did Ray poop his pants too? No, because he's a clean, nice little baby who doesn't poop his pants. He goes to the potty by himself. So I guess we should go ahead and potty train Robin because Robin pooped her pants and 
I think that would be kind of a good thing for her to kind of learn by, not by herself, but by an actual adult who is actually functionally um, potty trained. Yes. So I'm going to boost up Gavin's skills a little bit more because right now he's not having it. He's rather sleepy, but not anymore because he's rather energized and happy. So Sebastian, I want to talk to you for a little bit because I, I want to see how you're feeling because I want to get our relationship up there. So we're going to go ahead and come with his appearance. going to just queue up these little actions here. We're going to be friendly. Let's not action move in right now because that's not what we want to do. Oh, yeah. So basically, we have, since Gavin has been working out, he has picked up a lot of new hobbies along the way. So Gavin has been working on his DJing skill on my hand. He's at almost level four crazy enough his gardening skill and his logic skill a little bit more but mostly his djing skill because he wants to be a professional da dj -er, 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 dj one day don't know why but he has some crazy goals in life i'm not sure why i guess it's like his midlife crisis kind of going hand in hand with this whole new skill making joining a new career and stuff like that i don't know he's just really really crazy so we're gonna give sebastian a little bit of a hug and see how he's liking his new little thing gonna show off his muscles and then we're gonna go ahead oh yeah i remember telling you guys that that since gavin aged up to a, a, an actual adult he has been feeling a little bit down about his body so he worked out but he has also been feeling a little bit down he wanted to be turned to a vampire not sure why but he wanted to be a vampire one day but that's not gonna happen oh oh sweet so olivia just got up to level b in her in almost her career her school so she has a level well a grade b in his in her schooling great so i'm gonna invite them over here so we can have them meet their new uncle and niece i think i yeah yeah the uncle and niece which who are toddlers which is pretty weird but that's a thing so they're gonna go ahead and have them Go ahead and see where they are at. So, Olivia, we're going to have you go and um, greet Ray with your friendly appearance. And then for you, Chandler, we're going to have you go ahead and, and meet Robin over here and do another. Oh, wait, how do you? Wait, I'm very confused. Okay, that's how does everyone know Robin but not Ray? That's really weird. Maybe because his last name is Jensen, probably. Not really sure why, but okay, that's, 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 that's fine. Whatever. Let's go upstairs. Oh, well, you can't because she's being potty trained right now. There we go. We're all done. Oh, look at that. Look at meet your uncle. Your Uncle Ray, Olivia. Your Uncle Ray is here. It's like, hello, Uncle Ray, who can't talk, but still, I love you. Don't be don't be frumpy. Don't be grumpy. Just love me. <laughs> like, give me in it, okay? I'm not sure if he un understands all this, but hopefully he understands, and probably he won't, but that's fine with me. So, Chandler, are you coming upstairs? No. Oh, wait, you need to talk to Robin a little bit more. Come on. We're going to go ahead and get to know her a little bit better. Meadows, time to go downstairs real quick. And I want you to go ahead and go outside. Because I want you to play chess with Gavin a little bit more. Because we do have to possibly kind of rekindle our love with Gavin a little bit more. Because they have been a little bit distant. But not really, not that type of distant. But they've just been distant technically. So we got to have them go and play chess together. Just be be friendly. Be more friendly towards each other. Aww. I just love their relationship. Oh, look at them. Look at them. I want to take a screenshot. I want to take screenshots of this. I want, like, kiddos and kiddos. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. It's so amazingly cute. And then we have Olivia and Ray. Then we have Robin and Chandler. I'm going to get this picture the whole family right there. Look at that. Look, the kiddos, the grand, the children, and the grandchildren are all together in one room. I love it. It's so amazingly cute. I love it. This, that's just cool. That's really cool. Okay, anyway, so Chandler, well, I mean, Olivia, let's see. Let's not have you play on the computer. We're going to get to know your uncle over here, who's an, who's a, like, say, a, 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 a small little man person, a, a small little man child. So I'm going to get to know him a little bit better. And then for you, Chandler, we can go and get to, get to know Robin a little bit more as well. So we're going to brighten her day. And then we're going to go ahead and tell a goofy story. Hmm, yes. Somehow they're still in their sleepwear, which I'm not really sure why, but I'm not judging. I'm not really judging them at right now. Spice Festival is in town right now. 
I don't want to go. I don't want to go today because that's not, what, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for being friendly towards everyone and meeting new friends. So I think today has been a nice warming day meeting the family so far. And I think that we should go ahead and actually have Olivia and Chandler to go ahead and head out for the day and actually head over to the new family household that I want to go and meet and so that they can meet some new friends and they'll head back to the house and end the part. So that is the thing that will happen today. So I want to try and actually plan more out into this let's play kind of have a goal and set and have a goal for a let's play part and achieve it and complete it and just have fun with it so that's what i'm doing now i'm having fun because we met our new uncle and aunt today so we met ray and ray and robin mendoza <laughs> weird so i'm actually pretty excited for rebecca to have a twin so it's kind of wink it's like a coincidence that that robin ray and rebecca and then sebastian triple r and an s no, the, the triple R's, because, <laughs> like, Sebastian's, like, the, the apostrophe S, get it? R Rebecca, Ray, and, um, Rebecca, Ray, and Robin, and then Sebastian. Yeah, so, the triple R's are here, the triple, the triple threats, the triple threats. So, let's go ahead and have them head out now, and just travel by themselves, and we'll see you at the... The house over there, because it's like a small little quaint little house, because I wanted them to have a small little house, not too big, not too small, just because they are a newlywed couple, and they actually live over here, so, yeah, they're, they're, Emmanuel and Allison, they got, I got them off the gallery, I think they're the most popular now family that I, that I got off the gallery, so that's the thing that happened, so I'm gonna go travel with Olivia, and I'll just have them stay over here with the other kiddos here but yeah so i honestly think that with them meeting new people it will allow them to have more friends and hang out with them more and i feel like that with that it'll it just it'll just brighten up like i feel like it will have it'll become like a sebastian rebecca type of thing but who knows they're different people and they're different people too so you never know what could happen in the long run so okay so we arrived at the house so this is a house that i got off the gallery i'm not really sure who created it but it's off the gallery but yeah, I did not build it, but we're going to go ahead and knock on the door because why not? Let's meet the new family today. I think they're a really, really cool family and it looks like no one is. Oh, no, someone's home. Look who it is. It's the mother, Allison Lanchester. And the kids are prob. Where, ki Where are the kids at? Shoot, dang. And, uh, and there's a the father right there, uh, Emmanuel Lanchester. But where are the kids? Well, I guess we should get, get to know the new neighbors, of course. So we're going to go ahead and do a friendly introduction towards them. Not really sure where the, their kids are at, but that's fine. I'm just, just I'm like, where are your kids at? I want to meet them, not you. So I guess, you know what, Chandler, Chandler and Olivia meet the wife. Because you got to meet the, you got to meet the family in order to have like sleepovers and do whatever you need to do. So the one of the kids is actually a whiz kid and the other kid is kind of more of a social butterfly, I think think so that's why they are kind of having two separate rooms not a conjoint like a actual conjoint room so wait i'm trying to find out where the kids are at that's uh an adult not really sure where they are we, they would be at can they actually collect the stuff though is this something they can do oh they can dig it up good and i forgot that olivia had the mean trait well yeah yeah the mean trait i forgot she had that trait so that's going to be a little bit difficult making friends because she'll always be mean and rude and throw fits and like, why? Please, just tell me why. She was a fussy toddler, though. She was a really fussy toddler, which I did not mind. But still, being a, a mean child, like, come on. Seriously. We're going to go and mock her outfit because it's like your outfit looks like trash because you're literally trash because you're wearing a towel. So that's not how you respect your elders. Ooh, she's like, we just level five. Sweet. So I think we are we reached level five. That's good. For her aspiration, so we need to make a BFF, and we need to actually draw two pictures while inspired. Not sure why, like, where are the see, like, it's Friday night, but the kids should be back at home by now because I don't know where the kids would be at. That's really, really weird. I don't know. Well, we met the we met the family, but still, like, come on, I really want to meet the kids instead of like the parents because the parents aren't interesting enough to like be talked to. So I guess we should wait until the mar like tomorrow morning to see if the kids are still here because it'll be a Saturday morning and the kids will be here. But if they're not here, I'll just probably just go ahead and like randomly 
I don't know, summon them? I don't I don't know. This is something I'll probably end up doing. But we need to go and see what type of reward store we can get. Ooh, a speed cleaner. Ooh. I'm going to have them get this one right here. Get that one there. And then we need to have Ch Ch Olivia. She has 700. But that won't do anything anyway. So I guess I can go and get her the speed cleaner one. But then it, I feel like it wouldn't be doing any benefit for that. So I guess I'll get the observant one too. That'd be good enough for me. And I think the next one I want to get is probably the mentor one after she gets gonna gets high enough in her little points over here. So she wants to be funny with Gavin and then she wants to watch the Civic Public Access channel. So we can do that there. She's gonna watch some TV. So I'm gonna watch some TV right here. Watch the channel, Civic Pub Public Access. And then for Chandler, for his like little like, social goals, she he wants to be funny with Olivia. We can do that. And then he wants to watch what channel? The World Cultural Network channel. Look at that. So she's creative, bro, and she's outgoing. Who would have guessed it? So that's kind of great. I think her and Meadow will be kind of great friends in the long run because like they're young adults right now. But then um, Meadow and Gavin are both adults on the verge of being elders. So that's the thing that might happen. So let's gonna go ahead and actually watch the channel. We're gonna watch the, where is that? The World Culture Channel. I've never really watched these channels before just because I've never really kind of watched the TV in The Sims 4. And I feel like if I watch them now, it'd be really great. Who knows? You might learn something today. I might actually learn something. It's gonna go over here. What's on today? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's The Sims 3 World Adventure. So it's The Sims 3, it's in Egypt. Ah. I'm actually like kind of wanting to play The Sims 3 again, just because I want to kind of re-adventure back into that game, and because I've played, I haven't played it in a long time, so I feel like if I play it again, it'll allow me to like be more happy about The Sims. <laughs> well, Sims 3 in general, because like The Sims 3 is just lacking in general, so that's the thing. So he wants to do what? Chat with someone? Well, we get, we're chatting with our sister right now, so that's the thing. We're gonna go ahead and probably talk about school, and then he wants to do what with Olivia again? He wants to be funny with Libba. Okay, we can be funny. And then we'll head back to the house in like a little bit, so we can do that. Tell a goofy story. So I'm guessing the kids will never be home because they are probably like, they probably ran away from their, from their family. Understandable. I don't mind them running away, but please come back home so I can talk to you. But, oh well, we can do that one day at a time. So I'm going to be funny with Olivia. And then you want to do what else? You want to meet someone new and then you also want to... Send a happy text. So, oh, we can send a, a happy text to our, our brother, Sebastian. So we're going to send a happy text to Sebastian. And then send a happy text to Rebecca. And I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we'll just send a happy text to, to those people right there. Because they, they deserve a happy text every once in a while. Am I right or am I right? I'm right, okay. I agree, Olivia Rose. It's a great day. Let's go ahead and, and enjoy the day. Let's not. Leave me alone, <laughs> brother. So I guess the kids are never home, so we're gonna go ahead. Leave me alone. Okay, then where the parents go with this? Why are you out? They literally came outside just to hug? Why? I don't understand why, but oh well. We're gonna go ahead back to the house because right now it's getting rather boring. It's getting rather dark. We played through a day, a Friday day, and it was really great. And rather spending time at this random, pers random person's house, we could go home and spend time with our actual family. So I'm gonna head back to the house real quick and I will pick up back when we get to the house. Okay, so I head back to, I, <laughs> whoa, what was that? No, I went ahead and actually get to, back to the house and so far so good. People are happy. Olivia's happy, I can see in her face, she's rather cheerful. It's like I met my sibling, well, I met my aunt and uncle today. They are rather small, but I'm mighty and strong. <laughs> Literally the same. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and actually end this part right now because we did some rather fun things today. We met our aunt and uncle who were toddlers. That was interesting. We met the parents of a family, but we didn't meet the children of the family. That's just great. But in the next part, we will do that next time. But either way, in the next part, what I want you guys to do is leave some book titles down below for Meadow. Oh, like literally, just spam the comments with book titles because that's all I need because... It's all I need, technically. That's all I want. So either way, let me know what you guys think. Who should be the next heir of the next generation of this Legacy Challenge? Let me know. Same, I feel the feels. But still, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I will see you guys all in.
the very next video. Bye.